Welcome to the discussion on Bury Your Dead, which is book six in the Armand Gamache series. This one is, is, is different, um, and it was very difficult to write for many reasons. Uh, as you know, if you've read it structurally, it's, it's quite different and quite challenging because there are a number of flashbacks where something clearly something catastrophic has happened to Gamache and his team, but we don't really know what it is until almost the end of the book, but we're given little nuggets throughout. And in it, Gamache has gone to Quebec City to recover from what has happened. And he spends, he's looking for peace. He's looking for just to, 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 to be able to take a deep breath in peace. And he finds that peace in this little known library in Quebec City called the Literary and Historical Society. It's a very old English library. Now, Quebec City is an interesting place because it's, it's I, I describe in the book as it being almost like those Russian nesting dolls in that, and this, is, this describes Canada. Canada is English, and within that, there is the French fact, and within the French fact in Quebec, there is a smaller English community. And it's interesting in Quebec that everyone feels like a minority and in some ways, everyone is a minority. And so there is this kind of tension that can exist between the, the languages. And it's explored more deeply in uh, Bury Your Dead than in any other. But that's kind of a sideline. It's really about the search for Champlain. It's uh, about what happened to Gamache. Uh, it's about revisiting uh, an earlier case and what really happened there. And Michael and I had the great good fortune to actually spend a month in Quebec City in the winter over Carnival to research it. And I sat in the Literary and Historical Society and talked with them and, and, and toured it and went down into the, the bowels of the Literary and Historical Society and really got a chance to, to feel the atmosphere. And for me, as you know, if you've read the book so far, you know that, that setting is character. And I really wanted the character of Quebec City and the character of the English community and, and certainly the character of the Literary and Historical Society to play a role in the books, and, and, and I hope it does.